All right, let's move over to crypto now. And Laddie Williams walks in with information <laughs> from the crypto space. More, more, info. And, more uh, info. I hope you have a bit of good news because, I mean, those well, stories from, um, good from news. UK. Can, can I call this good news? First, uh, let's take it back now to January, the beginning of 2023. Bitcoin was trading about $16,000. And now, now we're doing 30, yes? Over 30,000, oh, you know, at wow. this point. So, slow creep, but it did go up um, uh, pretty much. But will it stay up? But well, that's the question. And what, what <laughs> happened for the second half of 2023? It's, a good, it's a good time to take stock. Good time to take stock, <laughs> apparently. And, and looking at the market now, oh. we see it's um, neutral. We're moving, we're moving oh, away that, from That was a fast move. Yesterday yeah. you were in 60. Yeah, exactly. Greed, so, and now you're neutral. With all the volatility and what we're seeing, what we're hearing from the central bank, uh, banking the hikes. globally with mm -hmm. the hikes, you know, mm -hmm. it's like risk off, you know, at this point. <laughs> I was seeing investors react to that right here, and it's neutral. That's what we're seeing um, right now in the market. Let's look at the color of the market today. How's the color looking? Just um, Bitcoin, a couple of other uh, cryptocurrencies in the green. See, Ethereum is red. USDC, stable coin, that's in the green. USDT, another stable coin in the red. So it's kind of a mixed picture we're seeing the market um, today, looking at Coin360. Let's look at the top cryptocurrencies that we track now. We see Bitcoin um, at, at the top gainers counter. Zcash is topping that counter uh, up by 1.26%. Minor gain, just a marginal gain we're seeing. Um, lean, lean gain is this, $29.95 for Zcash. Uh, synthetics is uh, 69 cents, up 1.20%. So we're seeing lean gains um, this morning with the market looking for direction uh, right now. Let's bring in Gilbert Jopata now, financial market analyst. Um, hello, Gilbert. Yes, good morning, Mr. Laddie. Good morning, Gilbert. So, yeah, to, tomorrow, that's uh, the first half of 2023, you know, comes to an end. And we've seen how Bitcoin has performed about $16 to start the year in January. And fast forward to now, 20 and we're at $30,000, about $30,300. And we're seeing a lot of volatility, you know, at that level. But looking at what we've seen so far with price action, has Bitcoin really outperformed in the first half of 2023? The, the, the first half of 2023 has seen Bitcoin move in a slow but steady upward trend. You know, we started the year at about 16,000 and we've grown to about the 30,000 dollars as of today and this is a significant 80 percent profit gain so far in 2023 you know th this is a significant increase you know ignoring the short-term drawdown drawdown from ftx ban bankruptcy gemini drama and even the sec food you know which caused the price pullback but yet we did not break the downward channel and still respected the 25 key inverted held and shoulder neckline and it suggests that the market is is becoming bullish. This is a bullish market, you know. And there are, there are a certain number of triggering events that could have been responsible for for this, from macroeconomic becoming friendly to increasing adoption by institutional uh, investors. You know, Black BlackRock, which is one of the biggest investment company, filing for Bitcoin ETF. MicroStrategy has added an additional twelve thousand three hundred and thirty three uh, BTC to its position, with growing interest from retail investors after figuring out that the worst of the last beer market was over. And looking at, you know, the second half, that starts um, 1st of July. What are you expecting for the second half uh, of, uh, of 2023? Is this still going to be, you know, regulatory issues that we're seeing in the crypto industry? Or do we see more tailwinds for, for the crypto industry? Okay, there, there are a whole lot of uh, regulatory concern, which I think it's it's a good thing, especially that of XRP. And I think uh, the the trend or the outcome of XRP is going to create more of uh, a clear guideline for what we will see for uh, regulations in, in the market. And also, we also have that of uh, Binance, which is taking place. But overall, the outlook for Bitcoin in the second half of 2023 is still positive. And there are a number of factors that could impact this uh, price for the second half. 
Uh, one, I think, is the overall state of the global economy, which could lead to investors seeking out for uh, for Bitcoin. And uh, more other investors will also seek to diversify their portfolio to Bitcoin and continuous uh, adoption by institutional investors. At, at technical levels, uh, 35k to 40k and 45k is 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 a visible is a visible price uh, action for Bitcoin for the rest of uh, the year. All right, definitely all eyes on the second half of 2023. Let's see if it's going to be risk on or risk off. Thank you so much, uh, Gil Bedropata, financial market analyst. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, let's look at the top losers now. See, uh, come there, topping that counter, 9.40% um, down. Pepe, um, that's the new meme coin. You can unblock in the meme um, industry there. 7.63%. We've seen profit taking on that. Render token, $1.91 down 5.91%. Um, so that's how the market is looking um, today in its neutral. And now, all eyes, what's going to happen in the second half of 2023? Talking about Bitcoin price action, and I want a number from you now. <laughs> what price are you seeing? I don't December understand why yourself and Aniti are putting me, you know, in a tight corner. We need your crystal ball. And asking ball. me. We I need mean, your crystal it's, ball. it's your market. Yeah, but... You know, I only step in every once in a while, yeah. so I don't understand why. Okay, so... I know I'm, you have a crystal ball somewhere, so <laughs> I want it's to... It's right under that. this table. Exactly. Okay, so just give me some time to check under the table. All right, then you give me a number at Yeah, some point. tomorrow. All right. <laughs> See ya, one thirty, See ya. laddie. Thank you so much. Well, that's it on the program. I uh, hope you're enjoying and make the most of this uh, holiday. Don't forget the holidays end today, so tomorrow I have to get back to work. I cannot imagine how tomorrow will be, how the rose will be like tomorrow. I have been thinking about it this morning. It was really good this morning on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. I wonder what it will look like tomorrow. Do I have to wonder so much? I think I have an idea. God help me. Well, thank you so much for being a part of it. Don't forget to join Laddie 130. He'll be back here. I'll be back tomorrow with another fresh episode of Business Morning. But you can watch this again on our YouTube channel. I'm Ini John Mekwa. See you tomorrow.